Hi everyone, I hope you're good. This is Shariq and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. This is going to be, as usual, a Lebanese Arabic lesson. And when I say Lebanese Arabic, it means it's the Levantine dialect which is spoken in Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine and Syria. So I'm going to start by saying hi to everyone who's joining and let's wait a couple of seconds for more people to join. And uh, my face is really red because I closed the windows and I was cooking now. Uh, and if I open the windows, it's going to be noisy. Okay, so there's already 20 people. Yalla, let's begin. So today's lesson is going to be... <laughs> That's my sister and cousin signing in. Hi, Cynthia. So today's lesson is going to be uh, a fun lesson. Different ways of saying no in Arabic, specifically in Lebanon. Polite and not so polite ways of saying them. Yeah, I mean, we don't like to be very polite in Lebanon. Yeah, I mean, when are we polite? When, for example, there is an invitation that we don't want to go. Okay, maybe we say maybe another time or something like that. But if you want to say to someone, I don't want to do this, we don't like to find ways of saying it. We just say it in the face of someone. خلاص. We have different ways of saying and we say them very straightforward in a, in a very straightforward way. I am good, everyone, and I'm going to respond to your comments later on. So before I begin, as always, I would like to tell you, take notes when you're listening to me. I'm going to be turning my camera and showing you uh, what I wrote on my screen. I'm going to try not to show you how messy my room is, like really pile, piles of uh, laundry that I need to fold. So take notes, say out loud with me all the time. Don't just sit, okay, yeah, I'm listening, I'm learning. No, you have to say it out loud. Thank you. You have to say it out loud, out loud, out loud. And ideally, when I finish this video and I, when I post it on my YouTube and here on IGTV, you have time to sit down and write them as well. So your brain can retain more information. Okay, let's begin. And actually, before we begin, I also want to say one last thing and we begin. Um, I always say to my students, it's very good to learn on social media, like on uh, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, whatever, Facebook, whatever you want. But take these lessons or take these lives or the mini, mini lessons that I upload as bonus lessons. Because if you're serious about learning Arabic, I really believe people need a structure to learn a language or to, to learn anything else, to go on a diet, to, you know, to create a routine. You need a structure. Hi, Nabila, missed you. Hi, Rosie. You need a course plan that can take you from point A to point B to point C. And this is what I do in my 30-day challenge courses. I have a program, so you know exactly day one, I'm going to learn this. Day two, I'm going to learn this. So yeah, you can set short-term and long-term long -term goals. And that's how you can progress. You, you can even see yourself progressing and getting somewhere. So there are uh, levels all, all the way from absolute beginners to advanced. And these 30 day challenge courses are either available live from August 8th until September 6th, if there's enough students in every level, or pre-recorded. So you can study any time of the day. You can study at your own pace. Yalla, let's not uh, talk a lot and let's begin, yalla. So the first way to say no بالعربي كيف منقول نو بالعربي we all know it maybe كيف منقول نو بالعربي يلا thank you Nabila she's saying they're the best courses thank you يلا كيف منقول نو بالعربي just the simplest way that's the lesson about different ways of saying no so يلا قلوا لا لا okay بالفسحة بيقولوا لا بس باللبنان منلفظ اه اه لا okay لا or you can also say لا لا or لا Okay, both are the same. La, one syllable. La, two syllables. Now, the first way of saying politely, like, okay, maybe another, okay, without it is better, is, yalla, say out loud with me, baleha, baleha. Bala, on its own, bala, means without. So when you say baleha, let me turn my camera, when you say baleha, baleha, you see how it's written here? Baleha, you're literally saying without it. Hi, Erica. You're saying without it. That's why it means better without. Better without. Baleha. Okay. So the first thing to say is la, as I said. The second thing to say is baleha. And a better without. Okay. Now, another polite way of saying no is say with me out loud. Ghair marra 
We're still in the polite, yeah? Later on, we're going to start being a little bit less polite. غير مرة بت سيب Say out loud with me. بت سيب بت سيب غير مرة another time غير مرة بت سيب means literally, literally, literally as if you are saying it coincides. So another time it coincides. That's what you're literally saying. So when you say another time it coincides, You would be saying, thank you, Erica. You would be saying, uh, oh, we can do it another time. Uh, we can do it another time. If this one, if this time it's not gonna, it's not working, we can do it next time, okay? So this one doesn't matter if you're a guy saying it, if you're a girl saying it, it's all the same. Thank you, Lina. It's all the same. Another time, غير مرة, بتسيب. So, Listen to the way I'm pronouncing it and say it with me. It's not bit sib. No. Okay, there's a uh. It's bit se ib. Bit se ib. Ghair marra bit se ib. Okay, so this is, yani, as I said, usually when you're rejecting an invitation or something didn't happen this time, you're saying it's fine, we can do it another day. Ghair marra bit se ib. Okay, actually, there's one that I didn't write here. Uh, you can also say, oh, this time it didn't coincide. You can say, هل مرة? يلا, say it out loud with me because I didn't write it. هل مرة means this time. هل مرة? هل مرة? مش? Say with me. هل مرة مش? مسيئ به. مسيئ به. هل مرة? This time. مش مسيئ به. It's not a coincider. This time. It has nothing to do with that. It's, you're just saying, oh, this time it's not the best time. هل مرة مش يعني today is not the best day. We can do it another day. Okay? يلا. Can you pronounce it with me? يلا. I'll write down yes or no if you're pronouncing with me. Okay? هل مرة مش Okay? And I'm not saying مسيبي. I'm saying مسيبي. Hi, Steph. هل مرة مش Notice how I said it faster now. هالمرة مش مسيئبة غير مرة أو غير مرة بتسيئب You can kind of put them together Okay The next one يعني of course not You can guess it كيف منقول of course not If you do If you If you want to say Thank you John Of course not How can we say كيف منقول بالعربي Of course not مثلا بدك تجي معي على ما بعرف على عج... على السوبر ماركت do you want to come with me to the supermarket أكيد لا إيه جيروم أكيد لا يعني I'm not in the mood I don't want to do it of course not أكيد لا أكيد means for sure or of course and لا means no okay so شوفوا هون أكيد لا أكيد I'm trying to hide the mess أكيد لا أكيد لا of course not why did I write here إيه أكيد yes of course إيه أكيد E akid. Why do you think I wrote e akid? Because usually if I say to someone, yes, of course, e akid. Can you guess why this one is yes and it means no? Let me tell you about the tonality, okay? I'm going to give you two examples. Uh, John? Do you like John? ايه اكيد yes of course ااا شو اسمه ااا بدك تعطيني 100 دولار do you want do you want to give me 100 dollars ايه اكيد yes of course you see the difference in my uh, in the tone of my voice يعني fr- just because i said yeah of course it doesn't mean i'm saying yes i'm saying no do you want to give me 100 dollars بدك تعطيني 100 دولار ايه اكيد يلا sometimes i even say يلا like يلا يعني yeah. Immediately, I'm going to give you $100, which means I'm not going to give you $100, okay? So you be the judge of how to use it, when to use it, which context, and also which way is more fun, if you're with friends, if you... Yeah, like sarcasm. Although, Nabila, I don't like using sarcasm. I don't like sarcasm, but it's more like, let's say, fun sarcasm. Or when you're angry, yeah? But like the culture of sarcasm. I don't like it. I find it a lot here. Okay, so, but, eh, eh, akid. Of course not, yani. Eh? 
طيب the next one is يعني let me show you والله you know what's والله all of us know what's Allah so when I say والله it can mean two different things in different contexts والله والله or you can even say والله شو look at the tone of my voice how it changes things والله really مثلا uh, Tom وصل Tom arrived and I say oh really والله but if I say والله or والله شو okay والله شو I'm saying of course not okay والله شو مثلا I can give you the same example يلا شاغيك عطيني مية دولار give me one hundred dollars and I don't have it I say والله شو you see the tone in my of my voice I'm not saying والله I'm saying والله <laughs> or والله شو طيب يلا so that's a way of saying no so so far what did we say so guys whoever is joining now now we're doing different ways of saying no لا no بليها uh, like يعني better without بليها okay and then you can say غير مرة بتسيب literally another time it coincides which means يعني it's good. oh my god which means Ah, oh, it can happen another time. غير مرة بتسيب. Wait, let me fix my hair. My mom is gonna now comment on me and say like, why do you always go to, to YouTube or Instagram without fixing your hair or putting makeup? Okay, so غير مرة بتسيب. And if you want to say, of course not, you can say أكيد لا. أكيد لا. Okay. And it can be, يعني everything you say, as I said, the tone of your voice sets the direction of the conversation, if you're angry, if you're being polite, all of that, okay? And then I can say to someone, Walla, Walla shu, and no, of course not, okay? Walla shu. Now, say with me out loud, Wahyet Allah, Wahyet Allah, Wahyet Allah. Look how I'm saying it. Wahyet Allah. I swear to God. Wahyet Allah. Hmm? Now, when I say Wahyet Allah, <laughs> as a question, okay? Uh, it means like, of course not. It's not I swear to God. It means you, really you didn't guess it or something like that. Okay? Wahyet Allah. Or you can even say Wahyet Allah shu. And no, of course not. Okay, so these are um, these are ways of not just saying no, but also saying like it goes without saying that the answer is no. Okay, so wahyet Allah, yes, wahyet Allah shu or wahyet Allah. Okay, I'm gonna say two things. You're gonna tell me when am I saying I swear to God and when am I saying no, just by the tone of my voice. Number one and number two. You will write number one, number two. Okay. وحيت الله number two وحيت الله which one is I swear to God and which one is no يلا I'm gonna wait because it takes a couple of seconds for Instagram to send this message so وحيت الله شو I swear to God what which means it means no not yes yes number one is no Number two is what? It means... Okay. I, there is a confusion. Wahyet Allah. That's... No. That's number one. Wahyet Allah. Wahyet Allah. Wahyet Allah. That's... Like, I swear to God. Okay? But you can add the shu to specify. Wahyet Allah shu. Yani you're not guessing it at all. Okay? So let's see how it's written. Wahyet Allah. Wahyet Allah. وحيت الله شو وحيت الله شو هاي دينا يلا you came on time جيت بوقتك وحيت الله شو يعني of course not the next one is literally ما حزرت ما حزرت it's not حزرت it's حزرت حزرت okay it's two syllables حز حز حزرت say out loud with me حزرت okay ما حزرت ما حزرت if you're saying it to a guy if you're saying it to a girl it's ما حزرت it's ما حزرت say out loud are you saying out loud with me حزرت 
حزرتي هايدينا حزرتي ما حزرتي ما حزرتي ما حزرت or ما حزرتي يلا who's gonna tell me when we say this ما حزرت and ما حزرتي أول شيء شو يعني first of all what does it mean literally the literal meaning what does it mean tomato بنادورة I am like a tomato today شو يعني ما حزرت أو حزرت like the literal meaning of the word يلا I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds So have I? Uh, yes, very good, Nabila. You didn't guess. You didn't guess. So حزرت, you guessed. ما حزرت, you didn't guess. So can you guess what it means? فيكم تحزروا. Can you guess? فيكم تحزروا. شو يعني ما حزرت? يعني why do I say to someone you didn't guess? Again, the same thing. You would be saying like, yalla, write down to me why, okay? So when I say to someone, ما حزرت, it's not like I'm just saying no, but I'm saying, of course not. You didn't guess the right thing. It's not happening. Okay, ما حزرت. Again, like, uh, let me give you the same example. مثلا, um, let's say I have two chocolates, okay? Uh, no, just one chocolate, okay? شوكولا واحد, okay? ونبيلة بتقلي شغيك عطيني الشوكولا تبعك Give me your chocolate بلا ولا شو ما حزرتي You see I did a cocktail now of the two things يعني no you didn't guess And no of course not ما حزرت أو ما حزرتي Okay So these are like the fun Or Let's say sarcastic Ways of saying no يعني You know what I mean when I say sarcastic Okay so, ما حزرت أو ما حزرتي No, of course not Okay, you didn't guess Okay, I'm gonna say something in English You're gonna tra- translate it in Arabic and you, uh, Before I show it to you And you will say what it means, okay? Like, no, I'm gonna say what it means You will say in Arabic what it is, okay? Literally, write down to me كيف منقول بالعربي From all your brain Literally, from all your brain, from all your brain or from all your mind. That's a literal translation. It doesn't mean that in English, but write it down. Give man ul bil Arabic from all your brain. Eh, bravo, Dina. Min kil aqlak. There's a question after it. It's always with a question. Actually, I even forgot my question mark. Like, let me put it there. من كل عقلك literally from all your brain like are like as if you're saying to the person really do you have like are you thinking with all your mind for you to even think that I'm gonna say yes okay so it's not من كل بالك أو من كل مخك أبدا just من كل عقلك من كل عقلك يعني are you out of your mind so so when you want to say to a person of course not you're saying to them are you out of your mind that's why you're saying from all your brain, من كل عقلك أو من كل عقلك. Let's see how it's written, okay? يلا. So if it's a guy, you will say من كل عقلك من كل عقلك. So there is a فتحة on the lam عقلك من كل عقلك. And if it's a girl, there is a كسرة under the lam which I didn't write here. It's من كل عقلك من كل عقلك. Okay. So, من كل عقلك, من كل عقلك, and notice the uh here. It's not عقلك, it's عقلك, عقلك, من كل عقلك, من كل عقلك. <laughs> Bravo, Dina. So, من كل عقلك or من كل عقلك, which means, as I said, from all your brain. Bravo, John. And yeah, it's it's yeah. The next one is getting, but like the other ones, خلاص. We're starting the fun ones. It's not the polite ones anymore. So من كل عقلك or من as Dina is saying, the next one is gonna be funny. So من كل عقلك, literally from all your brain. Oh my God, عن جد شكلي مش مقبول. Okay, and in the feminine form, it's من كل عقلك, من كل عقلك. Which means from all your brain. Which means are you out of your mind? Which means of course not. Okay, how can you even think that it's a yes? It's of course a no, okay? Now, yalla, I'm gonna say something in English. You write it down in Arabic. Oh, it's difficult to say in English. Okay, 
كيف ما نقول بالعربي you went crazy you went crazy hmm? it's not you went crazy it's nothing ha- it has nothing to do with روح okay no we have one verb بالعربي that means you went crazy جنيت ايه جنيت او جنيت you can pronounce it say with me جنيت with a a جنيت or جنيت برافو سومالي هب هايبريد اوكي جنيت جنيت نفس الشيء there is no difference so so when I want to say did you lose your mind like have you lost your mind شو like what شو جنيت like did you go crazy and you can specify here and you put uh, the, the the personal pronoun انت like not, it doesn't change the meaning but it just emphasizes like شو جنيت exactly the same meaning as شو جنيت انت like you so, so here the انت is just for emphasis like are you out of you you are you out of your mind شو جنيت انت and we throw the انت at the end and usually when we throw the انت or انت at the end it's usually for the purpose of emphasizing like are you out of your mind like you're just saying you twice as if okay شو جنيت انت that's if you're saying it to a guy if you want to say it to a girl كيف منقولها بالمؤنس how do we say it in the feminine form so انت جنيت you went crazy masculine in the feminine form شو يلا ناطرة مش رح أقول الجواب I'm not gonna say جنيتة أوكي دينا كتير منيح برافو رحيل أوكي so, جنيتة أوكي جون كتير منيح جنيتة شو جنيتة أنت برافو نبيلة all of you are saying them now كتير منيح أوكي so, جنيت أنت أو جنيتة أنت let's see how it's written in Arabic as well so we move to the next one أوكي شو جنيت أنت شو جنيت انت and you can cover the انت you don't have to say it شو جنيت شو جنيت 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 شو جنيت انت او شو جنيت انت it can be جنيت جنيت I feel جنيت is a little bit more village شو جنيت انت but when it comes to feminine we don't say جنيت in the Lebanese dialect we always have to say it جنيت you see what I mean? So, so with the masculine, you have the option of saying شو جنيت انت or شو جنيت انت Hi Pablo. And in the feminine form, it's شو جنيت انت just شو جنيت انت Like, what? Did you go crazy, you? Which means, of course not. not. The next one, I really like it. I like, it's really, really funny. <laughs> Yalla, say out loud with me. شفتك شفتك I saw you. Shiftik, I saw you feminine. Shiftak, Ujanet, I went crazy in this case. So, the, if you're saying it to a guy, you have to say Shiftak Ujanet. Look, if it's Shiftak Ujanet, with the liaison, you're not going to say Shiftak Ujanet. You have to do the liaison and say Shiftak Ujanet. Hi, Eduardo. Yalla, say out loud with me, everyone. Shiftak ku. This is the wow which you're pronouncing as a u. Shifta ku janet. As if it's one word. Shifta ku janet. Say it again with me. Shifta ku janet. Pronounced as shifta ku janet. Shifta ku janet. And in the feminine form, it's shiftik ku janet. So what does it literally mean? Shifta ku janet. I really like this expression. It's funny. Actually, there is a song. Was it? Who was it? Was it Ziyad al Rahbani? I forgot. Somebody check it out. There is a song in Lebanon that somebody says. Shifta kujanet. Oh, shifti kujanet. Yes, very good, Nabila. I saw you and I went crazy. Okay, so it's a way 
usually the expression means like you know when i saw you i was like wow you drove me crazy okay but when we say it like that we mean to say of course not because i'm not crazy about you so that's of course not okay so again if you ask me for a favor and of course i'm not gonna do it let's say i'm at home relaxing i'm with the television but my sister tells me Shariq, please can you go to the supermarket and bring me like i don't know some chocolates like i saw you and i went crazy as if uh, as if I, I i i went crazy over you to do it like i'm not crazy about you to do that so that's why it means no shifta kujannet okay again it depends on context it might mean like such a romantic phrase which is a bit cheesy even to say we we don't really like say to someone shifta kujannet well, maybe but it's a bit you can say it if you really mean like oh my god on the day i saw you shifta kujannet jannet as an expression shifta kujannet i find it cheesy when it's romantic but funny when you want to say no to someone okay شفتك وجنيت وبالمؤنث شفتك وجنيت اوكي كيف ما نقول بالع اوكي okay. so far we did several ones we're doing whoever joined now we're doing expressions that um, different ways of saying no in arabic okay <laughs> yes dina so how you always <laughs> dina is saying i always choose chocolate examples actually my student told me this before and you even noticed it okay Ah, yalla. Kif man ul bar Arabi? So whoever joined in now, we're doing different ways of saying no in Arabic. The polite. We started with the polite ways, and now we're doing the fun, in, not like not polite ways. Okay. So kif man ul bar Arabi? Literally, literally. You dream. Just you dream. You masculine dream. Kif man ul bar Arabi? يلا ناطرة I'm waiting So wake me up when it's all over يعني if يلا when I sing this it means يلا شو بتحلم اوكي منيح في دينا good دينا زي اوكي yes no سام سام جي تي ايت سيكس it's not حلم which is a dream بتحلم you dream اوكي no again you're saying a dream as as the noun yes بتحلم as a verb so the verb is انا بحلم انت بتحلم okay you dream in the feminine form somebody write it يلا شو يعني so if i want to say you are dreaming to a guy i have to add عم عم بتحلم عم بتحلم together عم تحلم and if it's a girl if i want to say it to a girl كيف منقولها Hi, bon. بتحلمي كتير منيح عم تحلمي You're dreaming. Uh, maybe John can help us with this. Is it is it like in English when you say dream on or like it's not gonna happen? If it's that, please let us know. So when I say to someone, oh, you're dreaming, which means it's not gonna happen. No, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so it can be like really we're saying to someone like wake up and not we're not saying no I don't know maybe somebody my friend thinks that her boyfriend still gonna is gonna get back with her or something or my sister tells me yeah stop dreaming he's not gonna get back to you or something so that's عم تحلم or عم تحلمين يعني you're dreaming but if I want to say to someone no yes thank you if it means dream on it means like dream on عم تحلم which means no I'm not gonna do it Okay. Yes, in your dreams, ktirumnia. But in Arabic, you you say you are dreaming. Let's see how it's written. Am tehlam. Let's pronounce it because this is kind of a little bit tricky. This is a secret. Think about it always. Okay. Uh, the verb is tehlam. Okay. Notice most of my students tend to say b tehlam. Because it's not easy to pronounce. They make it three syllables. It's not. It's two syllables. Why is it difficult to pronounce? Because there is a spoon on the B. And that's tricky to pronounce. Difficult to say two consonants together, right? Almost sounds like a P. B and T together sounds like a P. Okay? But one thing that makes it very easy to say, always imagine the B. Whenever you have actually any word 
at the big that has a spoon at the beginning always imagine it's part of the previous word so now if you say amb amb it's much easier amb and then you can say tahlam got it tell me if you got it amb tahlam you can pause here if you want for now if it's easier say amb tahlam at least you would be saying it correct with time you get used to it and you start saying it faster and you merge it okay اكتبولي اذا اوكي او لا so عم بتحلم you're dreaming and in the feminine form it's عم بتحلم عم بتحلم عم بتحلم okay thank you John كتير منيح so you're dreaming يعني dream on okay this is a very nice expression as well to say no okay يلا say it out loud with me and then I show you how one second let me just fix my camera say it out loud with me and then I show you how uh, yes, Rahil. Okay, so look how she wrote it, or he wrote it, I don't know, Rahil. Uh, so that's just a way to remember it, but def definitely we, we usually write it am and then بتحلم. good tip. Okay, so say with me out loud, low, low. Mm, يعني here in this context, it will mean okay, low usually means if only. Hello, there is a song. Hi, Bar Michel Barrat. Uh, he's from Brazil. I love Zouk. I love Lambada. I teach Zouk Lambada, by the way. Okay, so uh, what was I saying? Okay, low usually means if only. Low. Okay, there is a song, Elisa's song, low. It's really nice. But in this context, low will mean even if. Okay, low. لو نزلت يلا say out loud with me نزلت she went down but here it means it went down لو نزلت <coughs> even if it went down what is it that's gonna go down لو نزلت السما السما we pronounce it as السما the sky okay say it with me now with a liaison لو نزلت السما even if the sky went down, okay? Low nizlit is sama. Where where does the sky go down? Can you guess? Yalla, can you guess the next part of the expression? Low nizlit is sama. Shoo. It's really nice. This is the expression where you say like no way, no effing way. This, it's not happening. Yeah, even if I'm dying, it's not happening. So can you continue the expression? Yeah, yes, Dina, it's not lal arid, it's al arid. Very good. Arid means ground or floor or the, 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 the globe, the planet. We call it arid. Okay, land, earth. So, low, yalla, say with me the full expression. Low, nizlit, is sama, al arid. Yes, even if this, yeah, yes, very good, Dania Khalifa, even if the, the sky falls down, very good, okay, so, but in Arabic, what you're actually saying is, لو نزلت السماء على الأرض, even if the sky fell down, literally, on earth, على الأرض, so do a liaison here, it's not a and then al arid. it's على الأرض, okay, Low nizlit, and here don't say low nizlit is sama. Always do your liaisons. Always say low nizlit is sama al arid. Low nizlit is sama al arid, and then you continue the expression ma. For example, in this case, I'm not gonna see you even if the sky fell down, even if the sky goes down on earth. I can say low nizlit is sama al arid, ma rah shufak. I'm not gonna see you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to answer your questions later on with regards to other questions. Okay. Okay. A-D-R-I. So, لو نزلت السماء على الأرض ما رح شوفك. Even if the, the sky went down on, on earth, I'm not going to see you. Even if the sky fell down, I'm not going to see you. Okay. So, in English, you're saying it fell down. In Arabic, you're saying it comes down, basically. Okay. Or it came down. Okay. So, لو نزلت السماء على الأرض. 
now the next one is really funny because it's like very slang and what's another word of slang that's not just slang but like uh, how can i say uh, in arabic we say wuzzi wuzzi like uh, not classy you know what's the word for it in english um i don't know if it's the word i don't want to use a word that's offensive but i always think this is the translation tell me if it's a bad translation or not do you actually say ghetto or something like that like when it's not i don't know yeah is it a bad expression to use or no and it's something that is like very street kind of like a, like a yeah okay so it's not offensive to use the word ghetto yeah Okay, so yeah, wuzze, wuzze. In Lebanese, we say wuzze. Even you can refer to a person as wuzze, and if it's a girl, you can say wuzziye, wuzziye. The actual word is already ghetto, you know? Now, the next one is very like wuzze, like uh, an expression that's wuzziye, wuzze, and it's, uh, it's slang, basically. <laughs> you say it to the person. <laughs> yeah, let's read it. You can say to the person, Bas, usually bas means many things, okay? In this context, think of it as uh, just, just so I, just so I, like just give me some time so that I, okay? Bas. Bas ta, ta yani in order to, okay? Hala uh, abiktibadina. Bas ta hat, just so that I put. Bas ta hat, just so that I put. Yani it's, it's like you're saying to the person, like, just a second, just give me some time so that I put on. Tahat, I put. She, with a zad, za, buz. Bas tahat, she, I, I, I'm gonna tell you Dina in a second. Bas tahat, she, just so that I put something, bi ijri, literally in my foot, okay? Bas tahat, she, b ijri, b. You can say bi ijri, but pronounce it b, b, put a skun on the b. And then you can do that link, shib, shib. Remember that link I told you about when word starts with a skun? Bas tahat shib ijri. Bas tahat shib ijri. Okay, what do you think it means this one? By the way, Dina is asking me if we write was with a zain or a za. I think it's with a za. And actually, these words that are not like even in Arabic, you know, you know what I mean? They, they are spoken Arabic. I always say there is no right and wrong ways of saying of writing when it comes to the Leb Lebanese dialect or any dialect actually because there's no stand they are not standardized they're just spoken and we try to write them phonetically the way we hear a word so if you write it with a zain i'm gonna say fine it's not wrong you know what i mean so it can be mean leg and it can also mean uh, foot okay so i said it fast let me say it slow it doesn't change if you're saying it to a guy or a girl, by the way, because it's you are it's you who's the one who's putting something in your leg. Bas tahat. Say with me. Bas tahat. She bijre bijre. Are you saying out loud with me? Am I right? Yes or no? So say it to me. Bas tahat she bijre. I'm saying it faster. Say it out loud one more time. Bas tahat. She bijri. It's a way to say like, just so that I put something in my leg, in my foot, literally, which means, yeah, just a second, like, give me some time so I put my shoes on, <laughs> which means, no, basically, like, yeah, as if you're saying, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I'm putting my shoes on to go and do that favor for you, but basically, you're just, now, this is pure sarcasm, and you're just saying, like, no, it's not happening, okay? So next time you want to say no to one of your friends, like, or as a joke or something, you can say, hey, yalla. You can even say, hey, yalla. Hi, Khalil. So Khalil maybe can explain to you, Kif Manul. By the way, guys, yalla, follow Khal His name is Khalil Info. Okay. I usually explain to you what the expressions mean. But it's very interesting what he does. He tells you the story behind the expressions. Where did it come from? So follow him. Khalil, Khalil Info. Okay? Khalil. I call him Khalil. Okay. So when I say to someone, Eh, hey, yalla. Eh, hey, yalla. Bas tahat shib ijri. Okay? Which means, I, I'm, yeah, just a second. So I put some shoes in my foot, which means, so I can do the favor for you, which means it's not happening. I'm not gonna. Like, it's a no, basically. 
Yeah, the sarcastic way of saying, hey, of course not. This applies, for example, to the same example I gave you. Maybe I'm sitting down and I'm relaxing. I'm بحضر تلفزيون مبسوطة. I'm just, you know, uh, spending some time. And somebody, my sister or something, asks me for a big favor. Maybe to go out and buy her some stuff. And I say, yeah, yeah, just a second. I'm going now. Which means I'm not going, basically. Okay? بس تحت شي بإجري. Now, the next one is very, very... Very common. I think all of you know it. Inshallah. Inshallah. My student just... Te- uh, when I texted my students now and I said, Yalla, guys, I'm going live on Instagram. He said, uh, because I'm going to do a lesson on different ways of saying no. He said to me, okay, I can... Ali, I, I, I can already tell you three ways of saying no. My mom, whenever she wants to tell me no, she tells me, Inshallah. Which means no. Like, God willing. Usually it means God willing. Inshallah. I hope. I hope. I use it more for I hope. But a lot of people in Arabic countries, not only in Lebanon, use inshallah, inshallah, to say no. Means I hope, but the answer is no. For example, if a kid is nagging on his mom and saying, Mama, Mama, please, please, تشتري لي بسيكلات, تشتري لي بسيكلات. I'm not going to say chocolate, Dina, yeah? تشتري لي بسيكلات. Can you buy me bicycles, bicycles, bicycles? So that the mom doesn't say no. She says, eh, inshallah, yeah, I hope, which means no. So that the child like stops nagging, okay? I'll be very honest with you. This is one of the most words that really pisses me off <laughs> when Arabic people use it as a way to say no. Yeah, uh, I I never used it growing up in that way, and I kind of discovered it recently um, uh, with friends who yeah say yeah I hope inshallah. Uh, I don't like it. يعني, I just like people to have their own, you know, how can I say, يعني, be, يعني, أصحاب أرار. when I say أصحاب أرار, literally uh, owners of their decision, you know, when you say inshallah, it means like, you know, you're leaving it to God and you're not doing your own decisions. That's why I don't like it when it's used as in, yeah, maybe. You know what I mean? I like it when it's used like, I hope. Okay? Uh... Thank you, Khillo. Eh, yalla, hala, I'm going to finish it. But today, we're going to do everything we can to say no. Okay, so Khillo is saying, I have to explain one thing. Yalla, I'm going to say it now. Uh, I could rip out my hair out of anger when my parents use inshallah and no, as no. Yeah, I don't like it when it's used as no. The last one, again, my student, Alush, said it to me. Uh, it's just a question and like, it's a way to say, like, how many times am I going to say no? Like, I said no before, so you have to understand. It's a no. كم مرة بدي إلا كلا. كم مرة. يلا say it out loud with me. Let's read it together, okay? كم مرة. كم مرة. How many times? كم مرة بدي إل. Sorry. بدي إلا. How many times? No, no. خلو. It's okay. كم مرة بدي إلا. How many times? I want to tell you, which means am I gonna tell you? لا. كم مرة بدي إلا كلا. And if it's a girl. كم مرة بدي إليك. So here, if it's a guy, it's a فتحة. If it's a girl, إليك with a e. كم مرة بدي إليك. لا. How many times am I gonna say to you no? Which means I told you no before. Yeah, and stop asking for it again. Okay. خلاص. Sometimes you can even say خلاص. Enough. كم مرة بدي إليك. لا. I keep doing this to my. Okay. يعني I said to you no before. Stop asking for it again. And if you if you're fast, you say if you're saying it faster, you say كم مرة بدي إلك لا خلاص لا كم مرة بدي إلك okay. And I think the that's it for today. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat all of these just very quickly. Okay, say them out loud with me. Uh, no need to show them to you again because you can watch this video again on my YouTube. I up- upload it to my YouTube and I upload it here on my Instagram on my IGTV. Uh, and uh, what was I gonna say? Oh my god, Ira Hanjat, I keep looking at myself and I keep thinking it's really bad. Okay, at least let me put my hair down, look like a human. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's repeat them, all of them. Say out loud with me as always. Later on, when you watch it, write them down so your brain retains a bigger number of, of information and maybe for longer. Okay, and also as I always say before I go, let me tell you as well that it's nice to do these lessons on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever. But also it's nice to do. Dina does my courses. Tell them how nice my courses are. 
okay so she's doing the pre-recorded courses they're very very flexible and uh, they're very intensive at the same time and they are structured you have goals one two three four like it's always very structured okay and i'm always there even if you're doing it on your own you're never alone i will nag you i will follow up with you i will answer all your questions on whatsapp my students speak to me the whole time okay and there are free q a sessions so it's a great course all levels from absolute beginners to advanced and sometimes students finish it immediately when it's live in one month sometimes People are working now after COVID. Maybe it takes one month and a half to finish the course. Maybe two months. Who cares? But you have a structure. Okay, يلا خلونا نبلش. أول شيء كيف منقول no بالعربي؟ منقول لا. That's the simple way. لا. يعني better without. يلا tell me كيف منقول better without. Or it it can happen another time. I'm gonna say the better without. You tell me it can happen another another time. What was it? So بليها. Better without. بليها. It can happen another time. غير مرة. شو guys? Can you write it down? غير مرة. If you have questions, by the way, write them. غير مرة شو? Bit. I'm waiting. I know you were, you wrote them, but it takes some time for Instagram to catch it up. To catch it. To catch up. شو? Fatis, it's really hot. Fatis, yeah, it's so 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 hot. Shu, خلاص, I'm gonna say it. Eh, but say it. Bravo, Nabila. Walla, Nabila, you're still here. Well done for waiting till the end. Bravo. So, غير مرة بتسيء. Of course not. أكيد لا. But if you're being sarcastic, you can say eh, أكيد, which means no. Yeah, sure, which means no. Okay, and then you can say walla, walla. Or والله شو and no, of course not. Okay, even you can use this when somebody says something silly. Okay, مثلا تيابك مش حلوين. Your clothes are not shoe. Uh, are not nice. <laughs> are not shoe. Your clothes are not nice. I say والله شو. You know, it's also a bit childish. والله شو. Like no, of course not. They're nice. Okay. Hi, Amr. And oh, look at me doing publicity to everyone. And if you want to stay fit, you can follow Amr. He's really, really good in his page. And he has lots of groups of people and children and kids he trains. Yalla, follow him. Amr Tahir. Yalla. Okay, the next one is like, Wahyat Allah Shu. Like, I swear to God. What? It doesn't mean I swear to God. It means like, of course not. Wallah Shu. Okay. Tayyip. Ha, the, the the one we said it's like you didn't guess you didn't guess yalla follow amro okay so which one is you didn't guess and no of course not when i say to someone of course not you didn't guess ma shu i'm gonna wait for you to say it so these are five ways so far of course not ma shu Yalla, Natra. So wake me up when it's all over. And no, Yalla. <laughs> yalla, wake me up when somebody answers. Yes, good, Rosie. Mahzirat. Oh, Mahzirat. You didn't guess, which means, of course not. Okay? Literally, from all your brain, min kil aqlak. And no, of course not. Min kil aqlak. That's the sixth, the sixth way of saying no. You can also say, Shujanait inta? Like, did you go crazy? Or if it's a girl, you can say, Shujanait inta? And uh, it's not only, only to say no, by the way, Shujanait inta. When somebody does something crazy, I can say to them, like, really? Like, uh, did you go, like, are you out of your mind? Janait? Or you can also say, Majnoon inta? Like, one of the funny ones that I like is, I saw you and I went crazy. Eh, shifta ku Janait. Yalla. I'm gonna do it now, which means I'm not gonna do it, of course. Shifta ku jannet. You're dreaming or dream on. Am btehlam. And if it's a girl, it's am btehlame. Even if the sky falls down. In Arabic, we say even if the sky goes down to earth. To the earth, literally. Law nizlet sama al arid. Even if the sky falls down. It's not happening. No, no, no. Law nizlet sama al arid. The was the thing, what are we going to say? Yeah, just a second, let me put something on in my, sh like, let me put shoes on. Hi, Nermi. 
I miss you. So you can say, إيه يلا بس تحت شي بإجري بس تحت شي بإجري بإجري like yeah let me put something on in my foot which means let me put some shoes on yeah like, so that I go to the favor for you which means no it's not happening no it's a way to say no I'm not doing it إيه يلا you can say إيه يلا يلا بس تحت شي بإجري okay يلا yeah, just a second I'm gonna do the favor the next one is إنشالله إيه إنشالله إنشالله it's a way to say no basically and you can say how many times am I gonna say no? كم مرة بدي لك لا أو كم مرة بدي لك لا? How many times am I gonna say no? Hi Zaytun, you missed it. Yeah, you can watch it later on on TikTok, on Instagram or on YouTube. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna leave you. If you have questions, ask them now very quickly, or ask it now, or you shall ask. No more. Shu, anyone has a question? <laughs> yeah, that's Tahachi. This was great. Greetings from oh from the Netherlands. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy you enjoyed it. Whoever didn't get the chance to watch it, as always, I upload it now as an IGTV and also I put it on my YouTube. Sit down, listen to them and write them down and say them out loud. So listen, say, read and write. Four ways of learning. Okay? Yalla, je vous aime. Hebkon, yalla, bye. Merci, Rahil. I'm happy you found it useful. Thank you, thank you for John from Ireland. How nice is it that we sit each one alone and then we're all connected from different parts of the world. I love this. Thank you, guys. Yalla, tshufkon, bye. Bye, Rosie. Rosie from Mexico, you see? It's, like, it's a multicultural lesson. Thank you, thank you guys. Yalla, bye. I don't want to even hang up, but yalla, I have to go, bye.